this is JT. And this is Chad. And we're Paper Out, and you're listening to Publina's Kids Place. Was that okay? Hey everyone, this is Publina from Publina's Kids Place, and I'm on location at the Beecham uh, Theater, and I'm here with some of the members of Paper Out. Hello. Hello. Hey, thanks for having us. Yes, how are you guys? Good, actually. Yeah. That's good. Great. We're great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, um, could you guys introduce yourselves and what instrument you play? Yeah, I'm JT. I sing and sample. And I'm Chad. I play bass and keyboards. That's great. So, I was just with Sticks a couple hours ago. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mr. Roboto Sticks? Yep, that's it. <laughs> they're, they're really cool. I love awesome. them. So, um, it, and they still love performing. So, what is it like for you guys? Uh, it's, uh, we've been touring for a while, I'm sure they've been touring a much longer, but uh, it's, we've been touring for a while in a van, oh, yeah. so we were actually talking earlier today at dinner about how we were happy that we kind of got anxious again, because mm -hmm. we like that feeling of like nervousness before a show, like I'm going to take it seriously again, so, uh, I mean, I, we like it, touring's a whole, it's, it's, a, it's a beast, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, playing shows is the best part. Yeah. Um, it's just the other yeah. 23 hours out of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little difficult and taxing over a long period of time, but yeah. for that time you're on stage, it's like everything's worth it. Yeah. So. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So, um, when did you guys see like the you know the door was really opening for you guys, and you were saying like this is it, uh, we're doing it, we're gonna make it happen. In the, in the, in the future, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for the door. We're standing at the door right now. It's weird. I mean, we've. It's almost like the door's never open for us, but there's always been open windows. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we've exactly. crawled through every single window. Mm -hmm. And I make jokes about how I kind of feel like we're the most blessed band on the planet. Yeah. Because I do feel that way, because we're, mm -hmm. we've still like survived, and we're still making albums, and we're still proud of the things that we're making. And the band dynamic like on the road and in the studio has never been healthier. But yeah. we've been through a lot, and it's been really, really hard. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would say that the windows have just been open. Yeah. I agree with what he said. We're, we're, yeah. we're inspired. We're still inspired. When that, when that light goes out, we'll quit. Yes, definitely. Okay. So, um, what has been your biggest uh, experience while touring so far? The biggest, biggest? experience? Yes. The biggest? Oh, you're learning experience. Oh, oh the biggest oh, learning experience. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, go. It's really just uh, realizing that you're a dysfunctional family and that you've got to learn to have grace for each other mm -hmm. when you're in confined spaces for a long time. Yeah. Um, so I think we've just all grown as men, hopefully, mm -hmm. as individuals and a, as a unit, a family unit, I think. So I don't know if I can say one thing. Uh, communication and grace go a long way, though, in yeah. any circumstance. So that's probably what I would say goes the furthest on the road. Yeah, that, we'll, we'll end there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually, hold on. I will say this, it, it was probably like four or five tours in with this band, like like legit tours that I realized when we're at a venue, we see these people for one night. Yeah. And that made me take things a lot more seriously, like just in the way that I treated people even. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, we see these people once, they have so many other bands come through and I realized like, I want to really treat these people with respect. Yeah. Um, which helps it because I mean they I feel like they treat us better back. I, I think everyone just wants to be respected in the end. So there you are. Yeah, that's great. So uh, what kind of songs do you guys like to write? Sad ones. <laughs> Seriously, sad really? ones. Sad ones. <laughs> yeah, like when when we're happy, it's like we don't want to write songs. We just want to let ourselves be happy. Yeah. It's sa it's usually when we're feeling something on a deep introspective. Mm -hmm melancholic level that we seclude ourselves and make music yeah. so I would say I agree with JT sad songs yeah. Okay. Yeah. are you guys able to write on tour a little yeah. here and there honestly it's it's kind of hard yeah yeah but um every once in a while like a melody or a line comes up we d we definitely document it I document it but the songs don't happen until I'm like you know just not on the road, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you guys like big venues, small venues, and you know, um, is there one type that you like better than the other, and why? It's situation specific. I think at this point, we we really like that we're finally at a spot to where we're. I mean, we can start headlining. Yeah. We can start owning the night and doing kind of things the way that that we want to do. I, I, that sounds. That is the sound. I think. Awful, it? No, I think. 
We like the backstages of big venues, but yeah. overall we like yeah. any venue to feel like a small venue. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. I understand. Cool. That's great. So, um, what has been like the funnest band to tour with so far? Mm. <laughs> you know, I... Switchfoot was fun. I, honestly, I was going to say Switchfoot. They're, they're kind of a legend. Yeah. Uh, because they're road warriors. They've just, they've toured nonstop for years. But they, their hospitality, their attention to detail as far as everyone else besides themselves yeah. is just on another level. They're so kind. Uh, I, I would say them. That's great. Okay. So uh, your song, You and I, is getting a lot of radio play. So uh, did you guys see that coming? Kind of, <laughs> kind of. In our dreams, we saw it coming. Yeah. Whether or not we, that would actually happen and come to fruition yeah. was another story. But yeah, it was weird. I think there's just kind of a day when we all started getting like pictures on our phones from friends in other parts of the country. Like, look what just came on the radio, and it yeah. was had our title on our band name, and it was like, oh, maybe this is starting to go somewhere. So yeah, yeah I mean, I I think we saw potential in it, but then we kind of lost all hope <laughs> and then it started happening which is maybe the best way for it to happen you know yeah, definitely. I love that song actually I um oh, I hear it on the radio all the time so oh. it's great yeah so what are you guys' upcoming plans and events uh we're gonna finish this tour we're gonna go home and can I talk about keys to the castle we're we're doing an album called keys to the castle which is just drum piano vocal which we're really excited about. We're gonna do it in about two weeks. Some some songs that are already on these albums and then some new ones. And then we do a headline tour, which we're really, really excited about. And then I have no idea what we're doing after that. Yeah, oh, we're, we're probably gonna write some new songs too. Yeah. Like just for fun, get creative again. That's great, well thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks thank you for, for having us. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having us. Thank you. So